Hi, I'm Ron Hauko. I'm with the I'm commander of the American Legion Post called Commodore John Barry American Legion Post number three here on the West Coast. And we, we're at a ceremony today at this beautiful Mayo Peace Park here in Castle Bar, and we're honoring the Unifil Group. And besides being with the American Legion, I'm on the board of directors with the Irish Veterans Memorial Project, and we have associated with the Unifil Group, and we'd like to welcome all, welcome all of them here into Castle Bar today. They're a great group between the American Legion, the British Legion, and the uh, ONE and the UNIFIL groups, I'm hoping that we can meet and help all the needs of all the veterans, being if they immigrated to America or whatever country that um, they were associated with, that I hope um, we can all continue to work together, and I hope all the UNIFIL people, and a special to Harry Jaws, a man that we were honoring today. So thank you very much and have a good day. Uh, my name is Pat Conlon. I'm Pat the Piper. I play in different parts of the world and I've been involved with the Peace Park here for a number of years. It's been a great privilege for me to be associated uh, to, in memory of many of the soldiers who have died and weren't recognized and it's a great tribute to Michael Feeney that he has put so much work and effort and on the, and the committee for what they have done. It's, I'm very impressed with the professional approach and the beautiful ceremony that they have here today and hopefully that there will be many more. Thank you. Um, my name is Eugene McCormack, uh, Councillor Eugene McCormack, I'm Mayor of Castle Bar and I was delighted to take part in this ceremony today on behalf and representing the people of Castle Bear. Um, this is a, a lovely ceremony today uh, attended by the Irish Unifil Association members. Uh, two reeds, we laid two reeds. Uh, the uh, Irish Unifil Association have a particular um, I suppose interest in the Mayo Peace Park. Two of the um, two of the former two soldiers who had been killed in the Lebanon, Private Billy Keegan and uh, Fintan Heenahan from Ballinrobe, uh, are commemorated there. They lost their lives uh, in the noble cause of um, peace in the Lebanon. Uh, it was a lovely ceremony. It uh, the sun shone. Uh, went very smoothly. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Noel Byrne uh, did the uh, he did the uh, the needful as chairman. I made a beautiful speech, and um, it was just a very touching uh, ceremony. My name is Noel Byrne. I'm chairman of the uh, Mayo Peace Park and Garden of Remembrance. Today we were particularly delighted to have the Irish Unifil Association come to our memorial here in Castlebar. Mayo and Unifil have a long association to all the many Mayo soldiers who have served at various times in Lebanon under the, the ages of the United Nations. Two of those members uh, are commemorated in the, the Peace Park and it is very fitting that we have uh, renewed this association with all those people who have been involved uh, with the United Nations. The Peace Park and the Garden of Remembrance is very proud of its association and we look forward to many other organisations coming to Castlebar to remember all those who have passed away and have given their lives. And finally, as we have finished today with the Unifil Association, we are reminded of our motto, Queen Emish, we will remember. Thank you. Leader of the 5th Cavalry Squadron, Castlebar and uh, Unifil, myself, several trips. I'm delighted to be here to uh, represent the Organisation of National Ex Servicemen and Women, ONE, Oglina Shuntana Heran Shoranta, at this uh, function today. I myself am treasurer at the moment of uh, the Castlevar branch of the ONE. And, uh, and uh, as always, 
We are seeking new members. New members is the main thing at the moment we look for. And most people know the ONE supports homeless ex-soldiers throughout the country. We have three homes in Dublin and in, uh, in, the, in uh, Athlone and in Beachmont House in Letter Kimmy. The Castle Bell Branch was founded in 1981 by the late uh, Captain Tommy Lyons. At the moment we have 23 members but a lot of those are aged and some are um, housebound and some are in hospital, some are in long-term uh, residential care. So that uh, we seriously need new members. So if anybody is interested, I think every ex-soldier should be interested to help out in this way. I'd be only too delighted to, to, uh, um, to uh, help them out. My number is 086-607-1492. That's 086-607-1492. Hello, my name is Larry Dorgan. Um, I'm a member of the Irish Unifil Association. I'm a farmer. I'm a former uh, Irish soldier. Uh, I served in Lebanon on two occasions, and my home base would have been in Cork, County Cork. So as you can gather, I'm a long way from home and the reason for us being such a long way from home is that we have heard of the Peace Park uh, here and all the members of our association were anxious to come uh, and see the Peace Park in the first instance and uh, remember those that we have lost in Lebanon, of which there were 47 in the first instance and two of them being Sons of Mayo and in particular Castle Bar. We, in the past uh, year, have lost one of our own members and we thought it might be appropriate that we would come to Castlebar to uh, celebrate his death and to, to uh, have a small ceremony at the War Memorial. We were very pleasantly surprised at the support given to us by the committee members, um, in particular Michael Feeney, and we were honoured by the Lord Mayor of Castlebar and members of other organisations, of veterans organisations in the form of ONE and the uh, legions uh, who were present to help us in our celebration. The ceremony uh, was a great success. We feel that we couldn't have had a, had a better occasion. The sun shined on us and we came away sor sorrowful because of this, of the place and of the situation but definitely in a better place because of the support we got while we were in Castlebar. I'm hoping it will not be the last time that the Veterans Association will come here to make use of this uh, wonderful Peace Park and I look forward to being here again in the future. Thank you. My name is Dermot Murray. I'm a GP in North County Mayo. Uh, I first became involved with the Mayo Peace Park Committee when I got to know Michael Feeney as a result of uh, my own family circumstances commemorating my uncle who died in the First World War in the American forces. Uh, it gives me a great sense of pride that UNIFIL should come and honour the forces uh, who have served in Lebanon. It came as quite a shock to me when the uh, chairman of the Irish contingent of the UNIFIL told us that 47 of our troops had died in Lebanon in service of world peace. So something we've got to remember all the time, young Irish men and women continue to die in the service of peace and these memorials are important to commemorate and remember them. One of them who died was Billy Cajun who I knew personally and who was at school with one of my sons. So it was uh, a poignant day for us as well to remember Billy and all his comrades who have died. Um, this is something that's going to continue into the future, for future generations, and this memorial park, which we will leave behind in the future, I'm sure will continue to act as a focus for the commemoration of the future generations of young Irish men and women who will continue to serve in future conflicts. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Con Lee. I'm the Clare Coordinator of the Irish Unifil Association. We're here this weekend uh, mainly to meet up, meet and greet our friends and uh, commemorate a uh, comrade of ours, John O'Malley, who passed away suddenly at Christmas. We had a beautiful ceremony in the Peace Park across the road, uh, Reed Lane and uh, music and uh, 
Piper, everything was laid on by the local committee and we'd like to thank them uh, sincerely for making a well worth weekend here and uh, and the best to look to them in the future. Hello, uh, my name is Martin Bourne. I'm originally from Dublin, but I've emigrated to uh, Scotland a couple of years ago and uh, I joined the Uniform Association about a year ago. I find it very interesting. I'm on the website nearly every day. It's great information, great bunch of lads. And um, what else can I say? It's just it's great to get come over here and see the lads and have a visit. Um, that's about all I can say, really. Um, and unfortunately, the weather was a bit bad, but it's the same everywhere. Thanks. My name is Ernie Sweeney, and I'm a member of the Peace Park Committee here in Castlebar and Mayo. Again, another lovely day. First ceremony of uh, 212, one of many down the line, down through the year. Uh, it was lovely to be again raising the flags early this morning and getting compliments from people passing by, asking why. And I explained that our friend Michael Feeney was arranging another ceremony again for men and women who have served in Ireland and served abroad for Ireland. And uh, some of them now are retired and we're here to remember their colleagues and friends, their fallen friends and those who have passed on. So another great honour for me personally, a great honour for Castlebar and Mio, that people will come who served in the forces throughout the country to come to Castlebar to remember their falling uh, comrades. My name is Michael Feeney, I'm the founder of the Mio Peace Park and today is a unique event. Uh, today we welcomed the Irish Unifil Association members of from various parts of the country, from Kerry, from Dublin, from Clare, from various other parts, as well as lots of men from around Mayo who served overseas in various theatres of US, UN peacekeeping operations. It's a great honour for us to have them here today, and I think it's I consider it an honour that we were able to facilitate them on their visit here to Mayo. And the highlight they tell me was, and the focus was to uh, visit the Mayo Peace Park. And we had a lovely ceremony there today. They laid wreaths in, in memory of their fallen, and it's very appropriate. It's wonderful that people like that, and we're especially uh, very honoured that the Irish Defence Forces have come like this uh, two years ago. The O&E had a, a major ceremony over in the Peace Park and today we have UNIFIL and we had IUNA, uh, that's the United Nations Veterans Association, they took part in the O&E ceremonies. It's wonderful to have across the board cooperation between American, between Canadian, between Irish, between British, all coming to remember in the common cause their people who served and died in the wars. Thank you.